everyone. This is Beachbody coach Jackie Grimes from the Way to Maintain blog. And today I want to share my review of the Total Body Chisel. This is one of the workouts from the brand new Hammer and Chisel series coming out from Beachbody in December. You can visit my website, which is waytomaintain.com, and I have the full review on there. And I also have a printable weight tracker that you can use to track the weights that you're using for this workout. Also, at this time, Total Body Chisel and one of the other workouts, which is ISO Speed Hammer, are only available on Beachbody On Demand. So if you don't have a Team Beachbody Club membership, you can get a free 30-day trial. So just go to my website and you'll see a little box right at the top there that you can enter your information for 30 days and try it out for free, which is always a super good deal. So I wanted to share where I'm coming from, my perspective for this review. And this is sort of my busy mom who wants results, but I don't want to spend hours in the gym, but I also want to have fun. So I'm not a personal trainer or a physical therapist, but I have done lots of exercise videos and I've worked out at the gym and I read quite a bit. So this is sort of my perspective. And in this review, I'll share with you the equipment list that you need for this workout, all the exercises, my impressions, what I liked and what I didn't like about Total Body Chisel. So here's the basics. The trainer is the chisel and that's Autumn Calabrese and you may know her from the 21 Day Fix and 21 Day Fix Extreme. The cast is Autumn plus two women and one man and the length is 35 minutes. It's like a perfect length in my mind. And for this workout you need either a weight bench or a ball and dumbbells and a variety of weights. So Autumn used 15, 10, and I'm saying five, but I'm not 100% sure on the five because I wasn't able to see it, but she did go down for one of the exercises. Um, on my blog, I listed the weights that I used for everything, and I was close to her range. I didn't quite hit it, um, but I used, I think, 12, 10, and maybe eight. So that's just an idea as a woman, what you might expect to use for this workout. So a summary, Total Body Chisel is a full body resistance workout. It's gonna help you build strength and create muscle definition. Isn't that what we're all looking for? And this DVD uses heavier weights and lower reps. And the workout consists of three rounds. Each round had two sets of three exercises, 10 reps of each. And then there's a small rest between each round. All right, so let's talk about the rounds and the exercises here. So round one, you do a squat, a bench press, and a reverse grip row. So you can see the squat and the bench press illustrated here. I like that these are just good old-fashioned strength training moves. And here, as you can see, there's the woman with the option using the ball as the limited equipment option. What I use instead of a weight bench, I do have a ball, but I generally don't use it. I have an aerobic step from back in the day and I use that sort of as my weight bench option but you know what if you're going to be doing quite a few programs like this or body beast it would make sense to invest in a weight bench and I'm going to put that on my Christmas list because I really do want one um, but one benefit actually of using the ball instead of the weight bench is you get a little bit better workout so this girl here she's doing the bench press but she's also she really has to engage her core to stabilize her body. So she's getting a little bit of a, an extra benefit there. Round two, you have reverse lunges, a dumbbell fly, and a lat pullover. And again, I have a picture of the woman doing the limited equipment option. Round three is a step down to cross back, and that is essentially a curtsy lunge. So in this photo here, Autumn's doing this on the weight bench, which it has to be a pretty darn sturdy <laughs> weight bench in my mind. And then this is the woman showing the curtsy lunge on the ground. And just a note on this and knowing your own body and what you're capable of, I just want you to use caution. I have really bad knees. So looking at a step up like that, I'm thinking to myself, no, um, I could do it. But if I did it, I probably wouldn't be walking for two days. So if you have knee issues or if you have anything that would prevent from such a large step up, I don't know how many inches that is off the ground, probably is at least 24, I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but that's a pretty big step. And using the weights, so I just did the curtsy lunge on the ground with my bad knees. So keep that in mind, what your um, strengths and capabilities are. And then the second move was an incline curl, 
and then you have the bent tricep dips. You can see Autumn doing that over here. I wanted to include this quote for you guys because this is like totally my philosophy. Motivation is what's going to get you started, but dedication and forming a habit is what's going to get you to your goal. And I love this because in all the challenge groups that I run, I really, really focus on the power of habits because we all have DVD workouts or we can belong to a gym or we can go to YouTube and get workouts and we can have a nutrition plan. We can read a diet book. We can Google diets and proper nutrition, but that doesn't mean that we're doing these things and it doesn't mean that we're getting the results that we want. And it's only by really focusing on those small little habits. I'm going to plan my workouts every single week. I'm going to plan my meals. I'm going to put these things on my calendar. I'm going to check in for accountability. It's those habits that really get you to your goal. So when she said that quote during the uh, workout, I really wanted to stress that and, and share that with you. And so in this photo also, you see Autumn, and there is the hammer with her Zagi Kalev her partner in crime. So my overall thoughts and impressions on this was I thought it was a challenging workout, but the 35 minutes went by quickly. So it was a good length, very good length for that. Autumn recommends Beachbody Performance Energize pre-workout. Um, I have it. And when I'm thinking about it, I sometimes use Energize before workout, but you don't have to. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing if you want to. Another option would be just to come to your workout well rested. So if you just have energy, you're ready to go. Or this is like, you know, the lazy way. You just make a cup of coffee. <laughs> and oftentimes when I work out on the weekend, I'll have coffee in the morning and that's sort of my energize. So that's just a tip for you guys. Um, Autumn gives you like constant motivation. She's sort of like her personality is, um, she's no nonsense, pretty straightforward, but it's a good thing to be encouraged as you're going throughout your workouts. And she mentions that if you do the same weights each time you lift, you're gonna plateau, right? So it's important not necessarily to increase your weights the next workout, you may not quite be ready, but over time, you do need to increase your weights. And if you go to my website, Way to Maintain, I do have a printable tracker that can track your weights for this workout. And I believe I have five spaces on there. So you can see at a glance what you're doing for five workouts. So you can see how you're progressing. What I liked about it, I like that it's total body workout. I prefer that over working single body parts. And right now I'm in the middle of body beast and I feel like I'm getting really good results, but it's also leg day, chest day, shoulder day, back day. and. I, I feel like I need to work my legs more than once per week, so I enjoy a total body workout. Um, Autumn stresses proper form. She is very clear on what your proper form is, and she will correct anyone in the cast who is messing up. And I like that the cast, they're ripped. Okay, they are totally ripped. And sometimes I like to see real people in a workout. So if you've done the 21 Day Fix, Kat was a modifier, and she's like a real everyday person right? She doesn't look like a fitness model, nor do I, by the way. Um, but at times it's really inspiring to see what is Kate or what you're capable of, what is possible with a workout, being consistent with your workouts, proper nutrition, which is probably most of the battle and also genetics. So I do want to stress that, that we're not all going to look like that if we work out and there's the age factor as well, because they're young. And if you're, you know, not, in your 20s or 30s, you may not get the same results, but it's very inspiring to see what's possible. I like that it's no nonsense strength training moves. I felt that the length was perfect. Safety was definitely emphasized. She mentioned, I don't even know how many times, that you should make sure you wipe off your weight bench so that it's not sweaty. I mean, almost to the point of overkill. So there's definitely a safety emphasized in this workout. And one woman shows the limited equipment option if you don't have a weight bench. What I didn't like, um, the transitions between exercises were kind of fast and it's good to get your heart pumping. I felt like maybe they could have been a bit longer, but then that's just me and how I move, I guess. There was no resistance band option, which to be clear, I hate resistance bands and I will never use them unless I'm forced to. I prefer dumbbells, but I also have been doing this for a while and I have 
quite a collection of dumbbells. So I have all the weights and it's easy for me just to grab one. But it would have been nice maybe to show a resistance band option. Not that I would use it, but for someone who didn't have the variety of dumbbells that I do or for travel. And also that there was no modifier. I felt that was um, maybe something they could have included. So they did have the limited equipment option, right? But there was no one to show you the moves at a lesser intensity or maybe a smaller range of motion, something that a beginner might do or someone with bad knees like me. I mean, you can't possibly account for every person and their particular needs, but I felt like maybe there could have been someone showing just um, a, a less intense option. So that's really important to know yourself and what you're capable of. So I appreciate you listening to this review. If you want to see the full review and get that printable weight tracker, just visit my website, Way to Maintain. I also have on there other reviews for hammer and chisel and other beach body workouts. I have a printable equipment list for hammer and chisel. I have a few articles with tips on working that program. And I am doing a hammer and chisel test group the first week of January. And I'd love to have you join so you can see all the details on my website. Thanks for listening and have a great day.